No Time to Die. So, No Time to Die is the latest James Bond film and the final of Daniel Craig's journey as James Bond. This is spectacular and sensational blockbuster movie. Oh, mm, supreme. It is absolutely incredible. What can I say about this film? Not much. I can't say anything about this movie because it is Oh, it is brilliant. You have to go and watch it. You have to go in and watch it. I can't say anything. I can say, well, I can say in brief detail what it's about. James Bond comes out of retirement, back to MI5, because they need him. Madeline too. They need her and him to come back to stop this evil's new psychopath who's trying to take over the world. And that's it. And there's also hidden sort of little moments in this film that hold a secret that will blow your mind. Fans went nuts. I mean, I want to know what you think when you found this out because I can't say what's in it, but I'll tell you something. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is a great fitting ending to Bond. This is a great fitting ending to Daniel Craig incredible it's in fantastic it's excellent the storyline is amazing okay his acting his stunts just as good as the other two amazing again the skills he has in it the sort of moments you have there is some great chemistry great chemistry there is brilliant chemistry actually between natasha lynch and daniel craig and madeline as well but let's talk about natasha lynch and daniel craig she is like bond in a way because they tick each other off and what's really funny is she gets really pissed off by him because she's trying to prove herself to the organisation, to MI, to the British intelligence, and he just keeps getting in the way. Like, she's like, this is my chance, and this, he won't back off, and he doesn't back off. It's quite funny, because, like, and they kind of, like, banter quite a lot in this film, those two. Especially Naomi Harris and um, Natasha Lynch, because Naomi is like, well, there's one scene where she stood at, sat, sat near Money Penny's desk, about to go and meet Aunt CM, and she's like, so, I can see why you shot him. And then she's like, well, most people try one only, most people try only once. Like, she kind of understands what she's going through. She's like, oh, finally, someone gets it. And you know, it's absolutely brilliant how they do that. Um, the reveals are amazing. Oh, the, um, uh, let's be honest, let's talk about this here. The secret that is enclosed around the structure of this movie is remarkable okay it is you will not see it coming you won't see it coming no one predicts it no one sees it coming no one expects it it's completely out of the blue and that is why it is brilliant there's no hints there's no hints there's no moments there's not even any nod nobody knows about it and then when they when it is finally revealed people are like oh wow yeah it is brilliant and there's also the fact if you have not guessed if you do not see what I, if you don't see the little shout outs they give you in Bond and you don't guess what happens in this, then you are truly not a Bond fan because they really do rub it in your face in the film. They show you, they really present it well and it is remarkable. The direction is incredible. The stunts are brilliant. I mean, some of these action sequences they do with Bond is amazing in this. Also, you see a different side. Well, no, you see him lose control. Actually, you see him lose control. And there are some kind of like, oh my God, did you just do that? You know what I mean? Moments in the film. It is brilliant when they do that. It is absolutely fantastic. It's excellent. It's really good. Daniel Craig as Bond is Bond in my eyes. He is amazing. The chemistry with Madeline, in, his chemistry with Madeline is brilliant because this is the girl he really loves. He actually loves her. Not like every like other Bond women. I mean, really loves her. He opens her heart to her, and he's not done that since Vespa Lynn. And he absolutely wants to spend the rest of his life with this girl. And their relationship is essential to this movie. I'm not telling you why, but it's essential. Um, also, what's really great is the fact that he sorts to... You, know, you, you see him kind of give up. Not in a way, but give up. He stops trying. And what's really clever is, you know, there's a reason they have to bring him back. Again, I don't want to spoil it for you, so don't, I'm not telling you why. Madeline, 
Saladi, what had pronounced in French? Saladi, Saladi Lowe is really is the French the French actress from the first one. She is a girl that can seriously take care of herself. She doesn't need Bond to protect her. Brilliant. Okay, this actress is remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Okay, she honestly. She honestly steals it. She's brilliant. Her chemistry with Bond is really amazing. She's just incredible. She's just great. I love her acting. She's, there's different commitments, committed sides to her acting, which is remarkable. I can't tell you how much of a great actor, how, how much great uh, greatness she has in this film, because again, that's a secret, but it's absolutely brilliant. Ben Whishaw returns as Q. He brings the comedy side to this film, again, because he's absolutely, like, f oh, he's so funny. He's so funny. His comedy timing, his shout out moments are absolutely brilliant. He always has that one line, long liner that will make people laugh. And it's absolutely, it's really good how he, how, he, how the comedy fits with it. A lot of the time, actually. It's really great. And they, and he, and he brings something to this film that will make Bond fans go nuts. And it's, it's amazing when he does. It's like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? It's one of their moments. It's amazing. It's incredible. Ralph Fiennes as M. Oh, he is really important in this film. So much you do not understand. There is a huge difference to M in this movie than the other three. You see a very different M in this. A very different emotional M. A very different... You know, there's a moment in this film. There's one scene, right, I will tell you. This won't spoil it, I promise you. He'll be, but basically, he stood in the office with Bond. And he turns around and goes, don't you dare ever speak to me like you have some importance left in this organization that you mean anything else to MI5. Get out! And it's absolutely brilliant when that happens. I can't tell you why he kicks Bond out, but it's really good. It's like he's not important. Thing is, M doesn't see Bond as Bond anymore. He's giving it up. He's not there anymore. He's, as, I, as you guys know, he's, he brings out, he comes out of retirement, doesn't he? So M doesn't see him as the great agent he was. He's like, why are you interfering here? Enjoy your life. Go away. He doesn't understand why he gets involved, but there's a reason why Bond has to get involved. It's brilliant. Naomi Harris, as I told you, returns as well. She's brilliant in this. Not much you don't see to her, but the bounce-off chemistry with Bond, the bounce-off chemistry with Natasha Lynch, a lot of that bounce-off chemistry with Natasha Lynch is really good in this. Um... The storyline as well is fantastic, how it envelops, in, it does involve M, Bond, and it involves Rally Malik, which I'm coming to now. Rally Malik. Now, no one thought, after his success as Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, everyone was thinking, really? Him? A Bond villain? But, if you've seen the film, then you know what I'm talking about. He is crazy. He's amazing. He's psycho nuts. He's got the psycho tendency of a Bond villain. He has the sinister evilness of a Bond villain. He has the craziness of a Bond villain. And he's scary. Okay? Not scary as in, oh God, that's frightening. I need to hide my face. I mean, as sort of like spine chilling. My brother said when watching this, he kind of reminds him of in Fast and Furious 8, when we met, when we met, um... When we met the uh, villain, villain in that play, uh, I think it was we met the villain in Fast and Furious Eight, uh, Viper, Cipher. He's a bit like her. I can't say how, but he is, and he is very important to this film. Bond fans already guessed it. I did as well, and it was amazing. It was incredible what he holds secret in this film. This is sensational. It is spectacular. It absolutely is just as good as Spectre. Okay? And the finale... Speechless. Absolutely speechless. And the way they end Bond is brilliant. It's not messy. It's not unorganised. It's not wrong. It's not untidy. It works. You will have many different emotional impacts in many parts of this film. That's all I'm going to say. Can't say any more than that. But you'll be emotional in many different ways. Laughing-wise, upset-wise, anything like that. Okay, I can't tell you why, but just seriously understand your emotions will be all over the place in this film. It is 
brilliant. Okay, it is fantastic. Honestly, this, honestly, everything about this is incredible. I've not got one issue with the final Bond film. And let's talk about Billie Eilish, who sings the song, There's just no time to die. Wow. Okay? As good as Sam Smith's writing on the wall? Hell yes. And this is her real voice, and I'm begging her managers or directors, please keep her singing songs like this, because this is her best, the best she's ever sung. Most incredible moment she's ever sung. So Bond is incredible. It is fantastic. It is a great fitting ending. People love it. Rebecca, my best mate, my best mate Rebecca loved it. My other friend Josh loved it. Reese adored it. And I don't see, and it's got a huge rating on Rotten Tomatoes. So Bond is incredible. The No Time to Die is fantastic. For all those reasons, I'm going to give it five stars. So No Time to Die. Why have you not seen this yet? Don't you dare tell me you've not seen this yet. Really, please, I beg of you, get a ticket and go watch this, okay? This is incredible, all right? This is brilliant. This is just as good as the Spider-Man No Way Home film that's about to come out. These two films are Christmas to me, okay? It's incredible, okay? It is brilliant. It's sensational. I don't know one single person. Well, I do know one single person. My uncle didn't really much like it, but he's got his own opinion. But it is brilliant. So please go watch this. And honestly, guys, trust me. Don't take my word for it. Go watch it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And subscribe to Movie Madness if you want to see any more of my movie reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. And I'll see you in my next movie review.